new trailer to talk about. Dun, 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 dun. I'm a long time Ninja Turtle fan all my life growing up, as you guys might know. And you also might know I wasn't a huge fan of the new movie that came out a couple years ago. However, I've grown to accept and actually enjoy the fact that kids like it. My friend and I were talking about that. You see kids walking around the store, walking around Target with their Ninja Turtle packs and their masks and their size and they're all happy. And I'm like, you know, good for you, kids. So if these movies produce that, hey, I'm glad. So now we have a trailer for the sequel. So we're going to talk about that. First of all, there is fan service galore in here. You see the turtle van, you're like, holy shit, the turtle van. And then I thought about it and I was like, we haven't seen a live action turtle van yet. Now the closest thing we had was in the first Ninja Turtles movie, April O'Neil had this Volkswagen, but that was it. No turtle van, not until now. And from the moment you see the turtle van and see it operate and you see it shooting, what was it? Sewer lids out of its face? You know this movie's gonna be ridiculous. Again, for the children. And I love the fact that we're finally seeing Bebop and Rocksteady. I mean, even in the old Ninja Turtles movies, they had Toka and Razar and I was like, they're mutants. Yeah, cool. And I learned, I mean, we all loved it, but all of us, when we were children, still in our heads, in the recesses of it, we were like, why not be Bob and Rocksteady? Is that a copyright thing? Doesn't matter. Now we have them in all their CGI glory. A lot of CGI in this movie. That's for sure. I mean, it's CGI turtles fighting CGI Bebop and Rocksteady in a CGI setting. So is every Avengers movie. True. And I love, this is my favorite thing about this. I love the fact that Shredder is a human being, you know, like he's a character. When I heard that they were bringing Shredder back and actually casting him and you see in the trailer, he actually is a human being. He's not brought to us by KitchenAid. Very cool. One of the best things they could have done for this sequel. Another great thing, Stephen Amell as Casey Jones. When I heard, hey, Stephen Amell's gonna be Casey Jones, I was like, Green Arrow. Totally works. I'm not just saying that because we share a birthday. Found that out just recently. Stephen Amell and I, I guess, share a birthday, May 8th. I read it on the internet. It can't be false. Let's be honest, Megan Fox is still April O'Neil. And although she wasn't the worst thing about the first movie, still, what does it accomplish? Like, what does she add to it? A titty shot for the trailer, right. For the children. Tyler Perry's Baxter Stockman. I guess Baxter Stockman was in the first movie also. It's this dude who's credited in the background as being Baxter Stockman. Why not just bring that guy? Why Tyler Perry? Because Tyler Perry's a bigger name, so it's somehow gonna be better for me. You look at Tyler Perry in this movie, it looks like he's acting like a cartoon. This is gonna be good! Granted, it's based on a cartoon, but I just hate it when that's the excuse to act goofy. I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say it once. Andre, you should have been Baxter Stockman. And let's talk about it. I mean, this is back, so let's just talk about it. Will Arnett is back in this movie. Why? I have no idea why. Of all the things you could have dropped, I mean, he's not a pivotal character for the Ninja Turtles lore. Yeah, he's in the Ninja Turtles lore, but if he's not in it at all, it would be fine. It worked for the older movies. This character wasn't in it. It would work now. Is he gonna be like a sexual predator again? Is he gonna be a creep? Is he gonna be a lawsuit waiting to happen? This last shot, I don't even know what to make of it, but you know, I feel like I have seen this in a game before. I mean, seriously, this video game 101, the tank busts out of the water and there's a rhino manning the tank and he's shooting shells towards the screen that you have to dodge. Has that not been in a game? I feel like that's been a Crash Bandicoot boss or a Donkey Kong Country boss, something. I've... Has that not been? One thing in this trailer I do have to touch on, it just, it goes against everything I know Ninja Turtles being. Is that scene where they're blatantly in the daylight like, yeah, we're four brothers who hate bullies and love this city. Art of invisibility, disappear without a trace. Those old splinter teachings, totally out. I feel like this trailer shows us that this movie has what we want and it also has what we don't want. What's funny about this is that I really, I have nothing invested in this. I mean, I have my Ninja Turtles movies. I enjoy the shit out of them. No matter what happens from now on, I still have those. So the fact that I'm not really like invested, like, oh my gosh, this is a big thing. I really, I have nothing to do but gain from it. The movie sucks, okay, it sucks. I get to talk about that. The movie's great, awesome. We have another great Ninja Turtles movie. I'll buy that on Blu-ray. But I have nothing invested. That's why I'm harder on a Batman versus Superman trailer because I'm like, no, I've wanted to see Batman and Superman fight forever. So when things don't work in the trailer, it's more rocks on the shoulders. You know what I mean? If I were in Vegas and I had to put my chips on something, my bets on something, I would not put my chips on Ninja Turtles 2 is going to be great. However, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. I just am. All right, so what did you all think about the new Ninja Turtles 2 trailer? Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.